Just how much has revenue growth slowed for DocuSign and what is the reason behind? We will explore those two things in the video today, starting with revenue growth, the numbers, and then taking a look at the story behind. So what you see right now on the screen is the revenue page on Macro Trends for DocuSign. And as you can see in the bottom column here, we can see year over year quarterly growth for revenue. For a long period of time here, they had revenue growth over 30% year on year. It even increased upwards towards 40. And in the middle of the whole global situation here, they had enormous growth. 50% quarter over quarter as you couldn't really do physical meetings you couldn't bring the documents over to the customer to sign them physically anymore everything had to be done online and this really increased this digitalization as reflected in revenue numbers trust me on this one I work in sales but then something happened revenue started to slow down just a little bit no worries here slow down some more and as you can see in the quarters here the most recent quarters it's below 30 percent quarter over quarter growth for the first time ever here and investors are not happy about this the company has seen a sharp decrease in share price and earnings has not been positive either as expected when a company is growing fast but when growth is slowing down, this is not a good thing. And one of the theories here is regarding the competitive landscape. So let's take a look at peer insight here from Gartner to see some competitors and alternatives to DocuSign. So as you can see here, there are quite a few competitor listed. For example, Acrobat Sign here from Adobe, a very large company entering this whole vertical, this whole industry of e-signing documents. And we can see a lot of other companies here as well. PandaDoc, Soho Sign, Hello Sign. I've used this one. And uh, there's just, you know, a lot of new players in this arena. And for the recent documents that I have signed, I have not used DocuSign, I've used competitors. And I think that profit margins will continue to be squeezed in this industry until we get closer to normal market returns. And this can be tough for some of the companies that have a high valuations, such as DocuSign, this whole new competitive landscape, they have had time to somewhat try to build up a brand. You used to say, you know, you send a DocuSign to the customer, it was a meme in sales. But now this competitive lead that they had is starting to get more and more eroded. And I think that they have not had time to build up a strong enough moat around their business. So this will indeed be seen in margins being reduced in the future if this is the case. If they have had time to build up a strong enough moat, then they will be able to protect strong margins. But if this declines, then we will see that this is indeed the case. This could indeed be the result of a more competitive landscape in this whole e-signing industry. So that's been my take on DocuSign, the declining revenue and my theory behind it. And as always, I hope you make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.